Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to place component into assembly as the mechanism and we will use cam and follower mechanism. So we will use the cam connection with Creo. I will add subassembly rocker and what we need to do is to specify the placement. The placement will be as the pin connection and for pin connection we have to select the axis alignment and translation so simply and easy you can select necessary surfaces. The connection for cam we will specify in the mechanism so if you will select application mechanism the system allow to you to create cam connection and you can see that for cam connection you can select the surfaces or curve so in the first example I will use the auto select and I will select the surface and the system you can see selected whole cylindrical surfaces. If I will confirm OK, we need to specify the second cam connection. So again, I will select auto collect and you can select necessary surfaces. You can do it and select with control button one by one or auto select will understand that you would like to select everything altogether. It's not necessary to specify additional properties, but if, we, if you will check, you can add the lift of additional functionality. If I will confirm OK, the system will automatically align the necessary surfaces. And if I will use the dragger, you can see that system will right now follow the surfaces and come and follow connection and mechanism is working correctly. What I would like to show you is that we would like to apply not only auto collection of the necessary surfaces so I will add the additional subassembly and for example it will be valve 2 and we would like to orient and place the component how we would like to place it we will use the slider and if I would like to use the slider you can prepare the axis for the placement and then rotation. So you can see that it's possible to specify the and select necessary datum planes for the orientation and so on. And then the slider is working well, but again over here is not connected. So how we would like to connect these two surfaces we can simply to say I will use the dragger. Right now you can see that is going through is not good we would like to use the cam connection yeah because we need to connect the cylindrical surface and planar surface if i will select in the application mode again the mechanism we can create added a new cam feature and in the cam feature right now i will select the surface only but if i will come from ok the system will automatically select the front reference and ask me for some necessary point or vertex. What does it mean? You can specify the first point, confirm OK, and as the back reference, select the second point or vertex. So first, planar surface is definite. Don't forget to select the front and back references. And if you will select the CAM2, OK, again, you can specify the cylindrical surfaces if necessary or over here in this example I'd like to show you how it's possible to place by curves so you can select curve first one with control button if it is not continuous with control button you can select the whole curves or more than one and confirm OK and again you can confirm and right now you can see that system automatically connect all necessary information and if I will specify the dragger and I will move the dragger the system will follow the cam surfaces and edges and cam mechanism is ready. In this video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to apply the cam feature and we have used the auto collect placement on the planar surface and on the curve. Stay tuned and in the next tutorial I will show you how it's possible to place the spring. Bye bye. Vladimir.